How's it going, ladies and gents? Boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with Connect the Watt. So you can see my Peloton Bike Plus is running, yes indeed, Netflix. And that's not all that this Bike Plus can do. Of course, this is just an Android tablet connected to the Bike Plus, right? So I've installed Chrome to browse the web. I can even run apps in a two-up split view. So that way I can browse my Twitter timeline or browse the web while engaged in a workout. I can even watch YouTube TV if I want to. And that's not all. It's a little weird admittedly, but I can even install iFit and run iFit workouts. Now, obviously there will be limitations here because the Peloton hardware doesn't integrate with the iFit service. However, if you're an iFit subscriber, you can just use it to take strength workouts, for instance. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do all this with your Peloton. Now in this example, I'm using the Peloton Bike Plus, so keep that in mind. Um, but if you're running the original Peloton bike, or if you're using a Peloton Tread, this should work for you as well. Now, I wanna preface all this by saying your mileage may vary. Obviously, this isn't endorsed by Peloton in any way, so proceed at your own risk. Now, let's start the tutorial. But before that, please leave a thumbs up if you appreciate this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Now, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is enable developer mode on your Peloton. So again, I'm using the Bike Plus. I'm just gonna log in to my profile. And then in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna see a button that says settings. You want to simply tap on settings like this and then below you should see device settings so tap on device settings now you'll see a screen that looks like this now what you want to do is tap where it says system and then you should see where it says about tablet so go ahead and tap on about tablet now at the bottom of the display just scroll all the way down you'll see where it says build number now you want to simply tap on build number seven times. So that's going to enable developer mode. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So now it says you are now a developer and we can scroll back up. Actually just go back to the previous page and now you'll see where it says developer options. Tap on that and then scroll down until you see USB debugging and you can see it right here. So all we need to do is enable the switch for USB debugging. Simply tap right here to enable it. Now it's gonna ask you, allow USB debugging? Well, yes, let's go ahead and allow by tapping OK. Now you wanna to connect to the Peloton from your computer. So I'm using a Mac. In this tutorial, it will be based on the Mac. Uh, of course, Windows will work. If you want a Windows tutorial, let me know down below in the comment section. But basically, since I'm using the Bike Plus, I'm going to connect with a USB-C to USB-C cable. The Bike Plus has a USB-C port. Previous hardware, like the original bike, has a micro USB port. So you'll need a micro USB port to go to your Mac or PC. So now that we've connected, you're going to see a message that says this, allow USB debugging. So you want to check where it says always allow from this computer and then simply tap OK. So now we've connected from our Mac to our Peloton. So now it's just a matter of downloading the SDK platform tools. I'll have a link for that down below in the description. You'll see a link for Windows, for Mac and for Linux. In this tutorial, I'm using a Mac, so I'm just going to click the Mac download and then scroll down, check the box and then click the download button. Okay, so now minimize the browser, go to your downloads folder. I'm just gonna drag the platform tools to the desktop, and then I'm gonna open up a terminal window. So I'm using Launchpad to open that up, go into our folder, find terminal, and launch terminal. Super simple, right? Now in terminal, you wanna type in CD to change directory, space, and then drag the platform tools folder to the terminal and then press return. That will switch to the platform tools directory within terminal. Now it's just a matter of typing in the command. So period slash ADB space devices and then press return. This will verify whether or not you're actually connected to your Peloton. You can see the list of attached devices 
and you see the serial number there. So we are connected to the Peloton via USB. That's a great sign. Okay, so the next step is to install a launcher on your Peloton. We're gonna download the Nova launcher. I'll have a link down below in the description. So I'm using APK Mirror to download that. So we just wanna scroll down, find our download, and download that here. So click download APK, and that should download to the downloads folder. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna drag the APK to the desktop just to make it easy to find. So I'm just gonna drag that launcher to the desktop like that and get back to our terminal window. Now we wanna type in period slash ADB space install space and then drag the APK for the Nova launcher directly into terminal and then press return on the keyboard. Now this is what you're gonna see, performing streamed install and then you will see success. So now on our device, on the Peloton, you want to go back to the main Peloton screen. You don't have to do that, but I just wanted to show you from the very beginning how to access the launcher. So you go to settings, device setup, and then you just want to tap the little P at the bottom of the screen. So here you can choose the stock Peloton launcher or the new launcher we just installed, Nova. So of course, we're going to choose Nova, and then we're also going to choose Always. So there we go. So this is Nova. Now, initially it's gonna want you to go through this setup experience. You can go through and customize this if you wish. However, I just like to keep everything as default. And then I wanna tap the little checkbox in the bottom right-hand corner once you scroll all the way down. And there we go. Now this is gonna push you back out to the, to the stock Peloton launcher, but it's easy to get back to the Nova launcher. Just tap settings, device settings, and then tap the little P at the bottom of the screen and it puts you into the Nova launcher. So this is great. Now we can easily launch any apps we install from this launcher. And of course you can easily get back to your Peloton experience as well. Now I recommend long pressing on all the existing icons that you see and selecting remove uh, because we wanna just kinda of clean this up. And you can move the launcher icon somewhere around here. Now it's time to install Netflix on the Peloton. So we're going to download the Netflix APK, again, using APK Mirror. I'll have a link down below in the description, or you can search Google as well. All right, so we have that downloaded. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to simply drag the APK to the desktop just to make it easy to find. You don't have to do this, but I like to do that. All right, so we're going to type in period slash ADB space install space and then drag the Netflix APK to the terminal and press return. Then you should see performing stream install. It'll take a little bit. And then eventually you're gonna see where it says success. All right, so we have Netflix installed. How to find it though? Well, simply swipe up on the launcher and there you go. You see Netflix there? So this is your app drawer. It's gonna show all the apps that are installed. Now I'm just gonna long press and drag it to the main home page, And you can rearrange that however you want. I like it somewhere like that, so it's always easy to find. Now I'm gonna tap on Netflix, go ahead and launch that as you can see there. We're gonna log into Netflix, and let's see if we can start watching some, some TV shows and movies, right? So I've logged in, skipped ahead a little bit, but here you can see the uh, download and go message. You can just tap okay there. And now here's all the Netflix content, and I can simply tap on one of those. I've already started watching, and you can see I can watch Netflix just like that on this super large 24 inch display with this nice speaker system as well, by the way, on the Bike Plus. So it's just a great way to watch content while riding your bike. Now, the downside, you don't get all your statistics and stuff from the Peloton interface. I recommend using something like an Apple Watch or any other fitness tracker. Now, I also recommend dragging the Peloton launcher to the home screen, and that way you can easily get back to the Peloton experience you know, do your normal workouts. Everything works like normal, but once you want to get back, you simply go to settings, device settings, tap the P, and there you are back within the Netflix interface. And again, you can easily get back to Peloton just with a couple of taps. So you're really not losing anything. You're really just gaining here with this setup. And uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you have any questions, let me know. Thumbs up if you appreciate this. So we're gonna get back to the Peloton interface, and now I'm gonna show you how to install additional apps. So I'm downloading the Chrome APK this time. 
to run Google Chrome, dragging it to my desktop, go ahead and installing just like this, performing streamed install, and success. So now, again, swipe up, find Chrome, drag it to the home screen, and there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna launch Chrome, and Google Play services will not work with Peloton, so that's something to keep in mind. So you're not gonna be able to download like the YouTube app or YouTube TV app and log in. However, you can access those services directly from Chrome, and Chrome does work. So here I'm browsing Connect the Watts, and of course I can also use Chrome to log in to services like YouTube TV and watch YouTube TV, streaming TV in full screen. I can use it to watch YouTube, uh, or any other streaming service that works with Chrome. Let's get back tapping our P button, and now let's go ahead and install iFit. And this is kind of weird because you think iFit, that's a competitor to Peloton, but you can run the iFit app on your Peloton as well. So I'm gonna use the same steps to install that APK for iFit. And you can see it right here, just gonna drag up to the home screen, launch iFit, and log in. I do have a paid iFit subscription, uh, so I'm using that. If you're an iFit member along with Peloton, you can use this to do strength workouts. Obviously, it's not going to uh, interface with the Peloton bike hardware, but if you're already an iFit subscriber, it is kind of nice to just rotate the screen and engage in strength workouts, for instance. So you can see I'm logging into iFit. Here's the full interface. Kind of weird to see this on a Peloton, right? But again, you can go in, load up a strength training workout, rotate the screen, and just engage with iFit. It's kind of nice to add a little bit of variety to the experience, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the full screen. Tap like this. I will say iFit is a little bit choppy and it doesn't work that great on the Peloton, but that's to be expected uh, just because it was never designed to run on a Peloton. To, to begin with, right? Now, here's the last cool thing I wanna show you, how to enable split screen functionality. So we're gonna download the Custom Navigation Bar APK. Again, you can find the link down below in the description. I went ahead and cleared out, just type clear in my terminal just to start from scratch in terminal. I'm still in the Platform Tools directory. I'm gonna type period slash ADB space install space, drag the Custom Navigation Bar APK, press return, performing streamed install, success. Now what we wanna do is paste in the following command. I will have this command down below in the description. You wanna paste this command in just like that and then press return. So now on our Peloton, we want to go ahead and swipe up to find our app drawer, find custom navigation bar, and just go ahead and launch that. You don't, you don't need to drag that to your home screen if you don't want to. So just launch the app. You wanna tap on the little blue arrow and then you wanna tap where it says start to continue, right? So tap start, and then it's gonna say compatibility test. So you wanna tap the little arrow that appears at the bottom of the screen, and then you see all done. So just tap finish, and here's the custom navigation bar setup interface. So the first thing we wanna do is tap where it says navigation bar, and then you wanna scroll down until you see the extra left button heading. And there you see it right there, extra left button, and then tap type. And then you wanna choose key code. So tap key code and select that. There we go. So now under key code, you'll see icon. Tap icon to select the icon you wanna to use to invoke split screen. I'm gonna choose the menu icon. So you're just gonna simply tap on menu. There we go. Now under extra left button, you see where it has key code, which we selected earlier, tap on that, and then you wanna choose your key code command. We're gonna choose app switch. So once you choose app switch, you're gonna see the icon you selected in the bottom left-hand corner, the extra left button, right? So that little icon, the menu icon, is what you use to invoke the app switcher, and that will allow you to select multiple apps. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. So let's go back to our main launcher screen there, tapping the P button, and let's simply tap the app switch button. And you're gonna see the app switcher appear, and that's gonna allow you to select those multiple apps. So tap on that, here's the app switcher. Now what you wanna do is tap the heading of one of the apps you wanna put in a split screen. So tap the heading and drag over to the left or to the right, just like that. 
There's the app on the left side. Now we just simply choose the app on the right side. I'm gonna choose the Peloton app. And look, we have the Peloton app on the right side and we have Chrome on the left side. And you can actually change the ratio of these windows simply by dragging here, just like that. And now Chrome's a little bit smaller than the Peloton app, which is great because you wanna be able to see the Peloton app as large as possible, right? The cool thing about this though, is that you can be riding your bike and browsing the web, right? You can be riding your bike, it still logs all your statistics and you can browse the web at the same time. So you can see my cadence is, is increasing and I'm reading Connect the Watts. I can do the same thing for Twitter even. Now, unfortunately, Netflix, at least the version I tried, does not support split screen. And even if you were able to get split screen, I found that when you play a video, it actually stops the video for the workout. So you can't really run a video in the Peloton app at the same time and do a workout. But if you found a way around that, please let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to know. But as you can see, when I start trying to play a video, you'll see the workout will stop. See how the workout stops? And then vice versa, when I play the workout, the video stops. So just something to keep in mind. I apologize if you hear the rain in the background. It is pouring here in Florida. Um, but you can see here with Twitter, I can be sending a tweet and still be in the midst of my workout at the same time, which is really awesome. Now, let me be clear. I'm not advocating using this as a replacement to your Peloton workouts. I'm not uh, implying that you should unsubscribe from the Peloton service because that's really where you derive most of the value out of this bike. But what I am saying is it's nice to be able to have this supplementary content. Maybe sometime you just wanna watch a movie, but you don't wanna be sitting on a couch and watching that movie. You wanna stay active. So this is a great way to do so. Or maybe you wanna keep up with the news, but still ride your bike and still get your stats and stuff like that. So to me, this is just a great supplement to the existing Peloton service, not a replacement. I should also say that it's really easy to set your Peloton back to default settings in case you need to. All you need to do is go into the settings and then basically do a reset and that will reset your system to default settings. So this isn't jailbreaking your Peloton. You're not modifying anything that's gonna be permanent. It's super easy to get back to stock settings. So what do you guys think about running Netflix and other apps on your Peloton? Again, leave a thumbs up if you appreciate this video and subscribe for more videos like this. This is Jeff with Connect the Watts.